So I want to talk to you about how academia really works. And this, frankly, it's just the whole world. Is that you spend your whole life trying to convince other people that you're good enough and you're worthy of their attention. And then once you get there, you realize that they did not care anyways. And they were just focused on themselves the whole time. I want you to realize that the rest of the world... Um, is, is frankly, they don't care, right? They, they care about themselves. The whole system, the way that, you know, competition creates sort of, particularly in academia, but, you know, business and all that kind of stuff really creates a bunch of narcissistic people that are focused on themselves. And I'm not using that in a very, you know, mean way in any sort of way, but it's just the characteristic that you get. People just focus on themselves if they're trying to be the top in a particular field. They don't care. And they're not going to be impressed with what you're trying to do. Now, it just so happens in academia, the one interesting thing is the way that you get people to 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 recognize you is you get people to recognize you. And what ends up happening is you realize nobody cares, right? Like, the whole process of you trying to convince other people that you're somehow good enough or that you're worthy of their attention is a bunch of baloney. What ends up happening is that you try and you you try and you try and and then and then at some point you're like I don't care, right? Like you get to the point where you realize that they're not going to pay attention anyways. So why not be my own voice? Why not be my own advocate? Why not just simply do my thing and forget about all of this nonsense of trying to impress other people? and trying to get other people to say, you know what, you're doing a good thing, all of that kind of stuff. Just do your job and stop worrying about all of that other stuff, right? Like that stuff, trying to get people to care, trying to get them to recognize, all of that is a load of crap. Because what you're doing is you're wasting a whole bunch of energy trying to impress people that will never be impressed with you in the first place. And once you get okay with that, right? Like, I think most people that go through... So, you know, the, the, the two people that... Two types of people that, that, that go through life and they become successful. The one is they're complete oblivious, you know, jerks and they're just focused on themselves and they're carrying on and doing their thing and they don't care. Right, they're gonna push people over and they're gonna push them around no matter what. And that is true of any particular location and any particular place. They are just that kind of person. And then there's the other people that frankly they do care and they're really focused on trying to help other people out. And then you realize and the reason partly why you're trying to do that is to impress other people and you realize that wait a minute, after some time is that those people that are sort of greedy attention greedy, you know, like the whole narcissism part that plays in it, in it, where they, I think they call them the cronies or something like that, narcissistic supply, all that kind of stuff, they're sort of absorbing all of that energy, but really what it is, is they don't care, and they're going to absorb all of your energy, and those people that become successful that are like that, they eventually just say, to heck with them. I'm just going to walk my own way, life and I'm going to do my own good things and I don't need to care about what other people are saying and telling me and all of those kind of things. I'm just going to walk and I'm going to know I'm going to do a good job and I'm going to be happy and healthy along the way. Despite the fact that the world is full of a bunch of really narcissistic sort of uh, you know exploitive individuals, right? And that is the truth of it. Right, And once you get to that point where you just simply stop caring and you're saying, you know what, you can live your own narcissistic life and you can you can live in your own little world where you think that you're absolutely amazing. I'm going to be over here. I'm not going to care about any of that kind of stuff. And I'm just going to start doing good things no matter what people say and what they do. I'm just going to do good things. I'm going to I'm going to be helpful. I'm going to live my life and I'm going to live my life to the to the to the fullest. And you might go and you might look very successful and all of that kind of stuff, but I know that you did not get there in of yourself. I know that there's other reasons of why that actually happened. I also know that I'm pretty damn good with who I am and what I'm about. And once you sort of figure this out, 
that you're just damn good, right? Like, I can live my life. I'm awesome. I don't have to worry about what other people are saying. You know, all of these kind of things. Oh, you're going to destroy your career if you do this or if you speak out. It's going to be a disaster. Screw that, right? Like, I'm going to live my life and I'm going to live a happy life and I'm going to try to make other people feel good inside. And I'm going to feel, get them to have some confidence. I'm going to get them to walk and do healthy things that are going to get them to the moment of them actually, you know, living a healthy, long life, despite the fact that other people are railing on it. So, you know, what you need to do is get to the point where you just simply don't care. And you can let those people play all of that kind of stuff and and sort of mow you over and all of that kind of stuff. But then you just simply are happy with who you are, right? And once you get to that moment where you're just like, I'm going to keep walking, I'm going to do my thing, and it doesn't matter, then you could do some really cool things. You have the courage to stand up and do something innovative. You have the courage to take some sort of leadership role because those people are going to, those people that are mean, that are awful, they're around no matter where you are and what you're doing, and they don't care anyways. So just do your thing live a happy and healthy life, and just be there. Be a good person. That's it. Be who you should be. All right. Take care, and have a wonderful day.